Thank you, Minister. Uh, well, firstly, I'd like to wholeheartedly welcome uh, the initiative. Um, culture does not happen just in Ireland's uh, main cities, but as we know, it's uh, totally uh, embedded in rural Ireland as much as anywhere else. Indeed, this particular policy echoes one brought forth by my own party uh, some uh, years ago and suggests that all local authorities for formulate an action plan for arts and heritage. But the current, funding, the f current level of funding is likely to be insufficient to support real development of our towns and villages, with 31 local authorities in Ireland, meaning each will receive about 33,000. Now, this is a serious funding cut from 2016, which saw three million allocated to local communities to implement their county's uh, arts and commemorative plans. But for many local authorities, this is much needed, and owing to the government's previous uh, cuts, I suppose, to the arts and heritage sector, it is uh, quite a significant uh, less uh, amount of funding for them to um, work with. Uh, over the period of 2011 to 2016, much of the main arts uh, agencies operating within the state suffered massive cuts of up to 40 per cent, and this has been particularly pronounced, I suppose, in our rural Sir communities. Maggot. So, yeah, just to kind of, if you could comment further on, you know, the Sir funding Maggot. that I've just outlined there. Yeah, um, uh, thank you. Um, just to say, you mentioned, Deputy, about the, the three million for uh, last year uh, that local authorities received. That was one million from my department, one million from the Department of Housing, um, Community and Local Government, and one million from IBP. And that uh, actually funded over three and a half thousand events nationwide. And it was a wonderful uh, um, co uh, collaboration between local authorities, uh, the 2016 programme, and uh, they did some tremendous work, and they did make a small amount of funding go a long way. But what I want to say is that funding under Creative Ireland is enabling money to put culture and creativity at the centre of communities and at every county right across the country. Um, it's, it's important um, that the, the one million for local authorities is not taken in isolation. We're increasing funding across the board. As the Deputy is aware, I increased the funding uh, to the Arts Council by five million in the 2017 budget, and that would support arts groups groups uh, all across the country. Likewise, I increased uh, funding to the Heritage Council by one million, and we all know the fantastic work that they do, particularly as part of National Heritage Week, which again involves a ground-up approach at community level. And of course, I was delighted to recently announce the nine million arts and culture capital scheme in, uh, in, in Cavan. Minister, I'm just curious in, in terms of your cultural teams, will that involve the ETBs and where are we going with our local arts and education partnerships? I know you did talk about initiatives with schools, but I certainly hope that that particular model that you were very supportive of yourself hasn't been dropped and that the ETBs will be uh, involved in these uh, cultural teams or some way or another because they have a lot to offer, as you know. I suppose it's kind of unclear as it, whether the funding is intended to just develop a plan or or is there further funding going to come on stream to actually implement it? I think that's the huge concern out there for arts practitioners uh, and arts and cultural centres around the country in terms of implementation. How are we going to be implemented? Uh, without ring fence funding, the implementation of local authorities' plans will be seriously jeopardised. And um, I feel that, that that's a hugely important point of all of this, is how we're actually going to implement these nice plans. Well, just as I said, this, this funding under Creative Ireland, uh, the million that we spoke about there, this is enabling funding and of course it, it, it will attract other funding. But apart from that, as you know, uh, I was delighted with the nine million arts and culture capital scheme and that scheme is one of the is the most significant investment in our regional arts centres in a decade. And 85% of the funding it went to projects outside of Dublin, and uh, that was about reaching out to arts groups uh, countrywide. And of course, the Town Hall in Cavan is a great example. It was awarded 750,000, and uh, of course, you're, you're very familiar with the deputy, and you know that they were, they've been crying out for funding there for years. And uh, they had an excellent application submitted, and I was delighted to be able to support them. So uh, there are certainly uh, strong synergies between Pillar Two of Creative 
State of Ireland enabling creativity in every community and also pillar four of the action plan for rural development that's fostering culture and creativity in every community and just on uh, pillar one which is enabling the creative potential of every child that you refer to deputy that would go to the heart of our local communities through our schools and other venues um, with, where children access arts music drama and other disciplines and that will include uh, to, uh, the arts to education charter and it will also include my department working with the department of education uh, to to make sure that every child has access to the arts.